For my next sewing project, I am going to be working on this Vogue 1686. And I want to make view A with the contrasting skirt. The fabric that I want to use is this faux leather from Joanne Fabrics. It's super soft. I just love it. And the inside is actually a faux suede, which I thought was really interesting. So it's like a two-in-one. You have suede on this side, faux suede, and then faux leather. I thought, oh, that's super cute. So I plan to use the faux suede for the top portion. And then I want to use the leather or the faux leather for the skirt. So I have all the pieces cut out. I'm so excited to get started. I am going to be using a Teflon foot, some polyester thread, and also a jeans needle so you can use jeans or you can use a leather needle i'm using a piece of parchment paper that you use when you're baking in order to press the seams open i'm also using clips instead of pins you know the dress pretty much together I am at the point where I need to put the sleeves in and I have a zipper in the back I just did the centered zipper which is what the pattern recommended and I decided to make the sleeves faux leather instead of suede so there will be some contrast on the sleeve area so the sleeve and the skirt will match when it's all said and done. So I realized that you can pretty much wear anything you want under this tunic. I decided to wear a pair of skorts under mine and the skorts pattern is Simplicity 8513. This tunic has a high side split. There are darts in the front and also in the back. The pattern is rated as easy. I did make a small. But if I make it again, I think I will go down a size. Now the leather part, the faux leather part is a polyurethane. And I did notice when I was wearing the garment that the polyurethane was sticking to my skin. So I will definitely have to wear something under the dress if I don't want that to happen. Okay, so before I go, I wanna leave you with a love share. Cranberry sauce is labeled and canned upside down in order to help the contents glide smoothly out of the can after it's been opened.